Nicola Peltz hire be writing the wedding thank you letters as Brooklyn Beckham's spelling isn't great I only hope Nicola Peltz is writing the wedding ceremony thank you letters rather than her new husband Brooklyn Beckham, whose spelling isn't quite up to scratch. The couple recently married in a lavish spectacle chronicled by Vogue, phase of which involved a Mr. and Mrs. style skit in which they answered questions about each other. One question was, what part of the wedding ceremony is Nicola most excited about? Brooklyn wrote, marrying me. Actor Tom Pryor has left me shaken and stirred, because he's writing a book featuring a very modern form of 007. It's a pansexual James Bond sort of thing, he tells me. I'm intrigued. But while that project takes shape, Tom, 31, celebrity of the Kingsman movie, has been making the Cold War thriller Firebird, and had a memorable moment on the first day on set. He was so cold shooting intimate scenes with a co-star in the Baltic that the crew had to ladle warm water over him to stop hypothermia. Mutiny in the ranks at the Hurlingham Club, where the Cambridges take Prince George for tennis lessons, over plans to charge senior contributors more subs. Some currently enjoy a whopping 90% discount on club fees which start at £1,200 a 12 months and now a showdown is set for Thursday. My man courtside says. The plan is to charge them about 30% but all the oldies are complaining. And breathe, Julie Montague, aka Viscountess Hinchingbrook, has observed a peaceful escape from the pressures of maintaining the Mapperton estate, her sprawling 52-room Tudor home in Dorset. The yoga instructor who hosts the podcast American Viscountess has bought herself a modest Tuscan retreat with just five rooms. It's manageable, she says. I'm no longer constantly worrying about what room might be leaking when it rains or if the boiler is going to stop working. And Mapperton is an open residence with visitors and staff. But this is private, it's my sanctuary.